Okay, relationship and sales success. How to build relationships. What people buy. You see, the first thing people buy is you. They'll buy you. They'll buy, you know what, they always, you know, they always have just a brand name half the time. You're saying, you got to meet my guy. He's great. They'll sort you out with your insurance. They'll sort you out with selling your home. Sort you out with uh, getting your computers. They'll sort you out with getting some clothes. Whatever it is, you've got to meet my guy. Okay? So buy you. And in order to buy you 50% of that, that's the come from building rapport. And rapport can be silent. It can be the way you look, the way you show up, how professional you are. These are all parts of building rapport. The rapport is also being interested in others and not being overly interested until you know them well. So when you initially go and you don't just start praising them and telling them how great they are, you actually start to get to understand that they buy you first. Then they buy the brand, the company, and the reputation. Okay, so then they're going to buy the brand and they're going to say, you know, that's cool, you know, I like all my Louis Vuitton bags and things like that. You see, some people walk into Louis Vuitton or some of the high brands and know the brand and the brand is really important to them. And today, this is what's been happening, right? We have hid behind, salespeople have hid behind a brand. I've interviewed people from Chanel. I've interviewed people from Louis Vuitton and they suck. They suck big time. You know why? Because they hide behind the brand. They don't even know how to sell themselves. So that's what they do. They hide behind the brand, they've got it wrong, and then they wonder why they can't build a relationship. But the brand will survive them. But what happens if the brand goes wrong? Then what happens? That some of the great ones I've met actually sell themselves first. They build a rapport, they build a trust. And then you believe what they say, and then all of a sudden you want a Louis Vuitton bag, or you want a Bose sound system, and they go, you know what, with all due respect, can I ask you why you want a Bose sound system? Oh, I've just heard it's really cool, I've heard it's a great brand. Yes, it is, it's a great brand. They don't dismiss the brand. But they'll say, you know what, there is stuff on the market right now that can be either a bit cheaper or on par, and it will do just the job you want. If I can ask you a few more questions of what you really want, maybe we can drive in the right direction. Am I now loyal to the brand or am I loyal to the person? I've bought the person. Now they can sell me any brand they want because I trust them. Then you buy the product. That's why the technical component is always, you know, I'll, I'll show you a pyramid of um, things in the next couple of weeks of you first they buy you, then they buy the brand, and then they buy the technical information. Okay? But yet some technicians have got this wrong where sales, sales ask, they start with the product and then go to buying themselves. No. You've got to understand they've got to buy you first. They've got to build a rapport. 73% of all sales and relationships are made because the customer trusts and likes you. That's how you get referrals. That's how you get less objections. And when you get an objection, it's actually one you can really work with. That's how you start having fun with your clients. Does that sound like making sense? I hope you guys are nodding and going, yes, it makes sense. Some of you may already know this. Some of you may be, you know, um, be looking into this. James, you asked a question by you, by asking questions about them? Yes, definitely. How do they buy you by you asking questions about them? I'll tell you how it works. You see, it comes down to one fact, and you want to write this down right now. Interested people are interesting. Ever been to a party where you've met, a, where you've met somebody and you go, man, that person was awesome. Right, my brother-in-law's like that. People meet him, they go, that guy's unreal. He's really cool. I have two brother-in-laws. One's been socially retarded. I love him to death. Not retarded in the sense. He just uh, doesn't like people, but he's a great guy. He doesn't know how to build a rapport or relationship. The other one's got amazing. You meet him at a party, you go, wow, that's like, he's like a nice guy I've met. He's so cool. But what you find is when you walk away, you go, geez, I didn't really get to know him very well at all. You see, people buy you by you asking them questions first, by building rapport with them. So tell me a little bit about yourself. So what type of line of work are you in? So why has that become important for you? How did you get into that? People love to talk about themselves. One of the best books ever written was written in the 1930s. Play in the 1920s. Get it if you haven't already read it. Dale Carnegie's How to Win Friends and Influence People. In that book he's mentioned, and today it still stands true, people love hearing their name. So James, what I would say is that well, people will buy you by you asking them questions first. 
by you building that trust. Because when they, you ask people questions, and not interrogate questions, not interrogative questions, it's questions what's interest for them. So many kids do you have? Oh, well, you've got three kids. Okay, I like them to probably keep you busy, yeah? Oh, well, yeah, it does, it does. You've got to understand different personality profiles. Some people, and if they lead into and they start asking, and they start talking about their kids, go with it. Because then you can build the product into that. Okay? So simple and easy. First day by you. But we don't sell that. What we're all, all interested in is getting our product out there and telling how great our brand and reputation is. Because that's how we, we've been told to sell. Get our brand and reputation, get the product in front of the place. Then why don't you take a second and get to know the customer first? 